Hey everyone, let's dive into a topic that's crucial for every Muslim to understand, riba or interest, and why it holds such a significant stance in Islamic law. Today I want to unravel the truth about riba, its implications, and how we can navigate our financial lives according to the principles of Islam. Firstly, what exactly is riba? In Islamic finance, riba refers to the addition in the amount of the principal of a loan according to the time for which it is loaned and the amount of the loan. Simply put, it's the interest charged on loans or debts and is strictly prohibited in Islam. The reason? Islam aims to establish justice and fairness in society. Charging interest often leads to inequality and exploitation, which goes against these core principles. Now you may wonder, if riba is prohibited, how do Muslims engage in financial transactions, especially in today's economy, where interest-based transactions are the norm? Here's where Islamic banking comes into play. Islamic banks operate on a profit-loss sharing model. Instead of charging interest, the bank will invest with you, sharing the profits as well as the losses. This system encourages risk sharing and discourages speculative behavior, aligning with the ethical values promoted in Islam. But the real challenge comes with identifying riba in everyday transactions. It's not always straightforward. For instance, late payment fees or certain types of investments can sometimes inadvertently involve riba. So, it's crucial for Muslims to stay informed and consult knowledgeable Islamic financial advisors to ensure their earnings and spendings are halal. Lastly, let's understand the spiritual aspect of avoiding riba. Engaging in riba can lead to a tainted income, and as Muslims, we strive to ensure that every aspect of our lives, including our finances, is pure and pleasing to Allah. By steering clear of riba, we're not just obeying a religious command, we're also promoting a healthier, more equitable society. I hope this brief exploration helps you understand the importance of avoiding riba and encourages you to explore compliant financial practices. Remember, navigating these waters isn't always easy, but with the right knowledge and intentions, it's definitely achievable. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, strive to align your financial decisions with your faith. Thanks for tuning in, and may your financial journey be blessed and riba-free.